Hey all you animal dudes and dudettes, Toysh is here and today we're going to be checking out the ultra super cool Spiro Studios original action figure line, Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. And this was a project that was fully funded on Kickstarter. They raised $76,000 fully funded, fully fleshed out. These guys rocked it. And they have a brand new action figure line coming out. And they were so nice. They sent over two figures for me to personally check out and review and show you guys an in-depth look. So without further ado, let's open these things up and show you all the goodness that is Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. And really quick, Spiro Studios was founded by Jason Bienvenu and Brandon Gary, and they were inspired by the 4-inch scale toy lines of the 70s, 80s, up to the 90s. Uh, they focused mainly on bringing back the fun and joy from these particular types of toys and from being a collector of toys for 30 years. Um, I can definitely say that they capture this look perfectly. It's an it's a awesome mesh of G.I. Joe, uh, Thundercats, He-Man, Ninja Turtles, just everything that promotes creativity in toys and getting kids to really be imaginative and think on their own and they just, they nailed it. The, the, from the articulation to the accessories, just very modern but uh, it still retains that, you know, the old very retro style of action figures and they're so cool and they were sculpted by jose fernandez and fabiano carlos coelho they, they did a fantastic job you're gonna love these things i'm gonna show them off to you right now let's get into it i you're probably done with me talking <laughs> And before I forget, Spiro Toys was nice enough to set up. If you do, in fact, like these toys and you'd like to get some for yourself, I want you to go ahead and head over to SpiroToys.com. And if you stay tuned to the end of this video, you can get a special code that will give you 10% off. So I hope you like the review and let's get to it. And here are the figures out of their plastic bags. And I have to say, while I do love a good amount of packaging and a nice setup, nothing would please me more than to be able to get action figures in just <laughs> a straight plastic bag. That would be quite fantastic. Anyways, here are the figures. Check these things out. These are 1 18th scale and they are, you know, clocking about 4 inches tall. Look at all the accessories that they have. There's two heads. There's about three weapons for each one. This guy even has this little thing on the back. So that counts as a little extra accessory because you can put it on if you want to or you don't have to. It's a good weapon storage area. That's what I think. Anyways, here they are. This is what you get. That is amazing. That is a lot of stuff. Even by today's standards, I mean, you're lucky to get anything with a simple $20 Marvel Legends. Iron Spider, I'm looking at you. Anyways, let's take these things into a closer in-depth look and check out the Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. Now, before I go forward, I have to give you, I think, the obligatory, okay, I got these for free kind of things. Spiro Toys, Jason and Brandon were very, very just awesome to send these things over to me to give me kind of a first-hand look. And I'm going to give you an honest and in-depth review I'm not going to be, you know, like, oh, because it was given to me, I have to like them and they're great. I'm going to grade them on their own merit. And just from what I've seen and how I've been posing them and checking out their accessories, I mean, y y these are rad toys. The <laughs> to see these in this day and age and just like the just the creativity that are in these things. Come on. You Listen, I'm going to give you an honest review, but you can already kind of see where this is going to go. So, again, thank you, Jason, Bienview, and Brandon Gary. Thank you for, for sending them to me in the mail. And um, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to give you my honest opinion. And I hope you guys dig the review. Now, I'm going to be looking at these as a uh, first-time viewer, we'll say. I do know, uh, you know, history about the company and how this got started on Kickstarter and everything. But... I don't know much, uh, and I was kind of refraining from that just to be able to look at these with, you know, brand new eyes, essentially. I'm looking at these primarily as uh, an action figure collector, as a toy enthusiast, and I'm going to go over them in just detail as far as articulation and weapons and all that kind of good stuff. So I'm not going to go into full-on details about, you know, oh, this character is not the way it's supposed to look, or, oh, look at the this thing is straight out of the comic book, etc. This is primarily to look at how do the figures stack up as action figures? And from what I've seen so far, 
I mean, you could probably guess how this is going to go. These are freaking awesome. These are so rad. Anyways, let's check them out and get a closer look. Okay, I'm going to start off with the good guy. Now, these are essentially, you know, these are the, the cat people. These are on the good guy's team. These are more along the lines of army builders and such. But, you know, even uh, this character, you want to give him a name. And, I mean, this guy looks like a crazy, you know, I would say like a war-torn general. Like, he would be like the... Uh, the guy for advice and everything, and you know he could just open up a can of, uh, of you know what, <laughs> on the bad guys. Anyways, let's get in. Like, just look at the, I love the black. You know the detail, the tattoos, kind of thing on the face. I love the bridge of the nose. Like the side profile on that is just, so rad. Look at the ears. The hair is nicely sculpted. It's very. I would say like a graphic design, um, very angular and such, but I love that. That's just so cool. You know, the, t the bottom up and everything all the way down the neck, the back looks great. It's not as detailed, let's say, um, but there's a good amount of definition for the hair. Um, let's see the belts and everything are sculpted very, very nicely. And like I said, I love the black amidst the, the light, you know, spray paint of, uh, of white on the orange, you can kind of see it kind of folds down to the arms right there onto the hands. I like that, you know, it's a little bit different than, you know, it's, there's not a gauntlet on each side, you know, it's a little bit broken up and it, it just it, more appealing as far as, uh, as how the design goes. He does have gauntlets and onto the, the shins and onto the feet. Ooh, we're going to have to try out some stands, see if they, they are compatible with these figures. <laughs> I'm all into stands now ever since uh, ever since I got that stack of them. <laughs> Thanks again, Towering Toys. Anyways, um, I do like the definitions on the belt buckle and everything right there. He's got a nice side satchel bag. Doesn't look like you can... No, you can't put any weapon storage in there, but that's okay. I'll show you guys in a second. All right, let's take a look at the weapons. You're getting basically two Ninja Turtles like size. Not a weapons expert. You know what these are. These are... <laughs> These are Ninja Turtle size. We'll, we'll just, we'll go with that. Anyways, and then we got a long, like, I'd say, like a katana sword. I like that it, it looks intentionally kind of, um, you know, used and war-torn a little bit. That's a, that's a really nice, you know, attention to detail. You got a little bit of a slice there. Got a little mark there. Goes on to, to right there. That looks rad. I really like that. Very nice definition in the, uh, in the handle. And then it comes with a little accessory uh, that fits onto the back. Right there, it ports into his back, and you can pretty much do it either way, just like that. And this aids in slipping and holding the sword. And, oop, that was my fault. That's uh, that's not a thing. Obviously, it's going to slip out if you go like that. But it's not going to fall out of his, the peg mark in his back. So that works really well. Last but not least, you get a terrific second alternate head which <laughs> i love the the grin on this thing this it's like yeah i'm going into battle i'm gonna mess you up I like the eye hole kind of things just very subtle you know not not a lot of detail uh needed it, it pretty much gets the point across and i like that you can see the teeth like i said it's like a perfect like uh, a wartime grin and the best part Something that, you know, always bothers me about Marvel Legends and such when you swap the heads, the ball joints are actually as fixed to the, you know, the, the neck itself. This, the ball joints are in the head, and then when you pop them off and switch them out, I always get worried that I'm going to, you know, break something that way. So I'm really glad that they chose to do it that way, and we'll take a look at the articulation and see how the, the ball pegs fit in and everything. And next up, we have on the villain side, we have a, like a monkey-type soldier, really liking the the bridge in the nose there that's excellent i love the helmet i the thing i like most about these figures so far just in just in the two that i have uh the side profiles are fantastic you know and uh, everything looks aesthetically pleasing in every which way you want to spin it so that that's a huge plus and that's a that's a great um just design quality you know you got to give them that it, it looks good on every single angle i mean look at that that's an excellent side profile. I'm sorry, I'm nerding out. 
about design. Let's talk about the figure. Anyways, the uh, you know the figure comes with uh, like an armor basic goes uh, gauntlets on either side. Has a little bit of a skirt piece. I'm liking the Jack Kirby slash Rob Liefeld uh, you know inspiration that I'm seeing, especially in some of the design aspects and the multiple pouches, especially on the other figure. Uh, he too has these gauntlets on either side and that they hinge at the feet, so that's very nice. As far as accessories go, he does seem to have the same amount as the other character. I'll buy, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, maybe uh, just one less sigh or one less weapon, but you know, in terms of how it makes up, this thing, you know, it's a giant uh, battering club, yeah, like kind of like a Negan style almost. <laughs> We won't go there. That show is something else right now. Um, anyways, uh, and then we have this really nice sword. It almost looks like the uh, the Legend of Zelda, like the Master Sword, which is really that's really cool. I love the design, you know, in that. That's that's awesome. The handles sculpted nice. Goes into that right there. That's very cool. Don't pay attention to that little mark. These are production samples, so that won't be on your final figure. Don't worry about it. And then also, you uh, like the other figures, you get an alternate head. And this one is a little bit different design with the helmet and such. Pretty much the same face, as you can see. It's a nice way, uh, you know, if you wanted to army build these things, they don't really all look the same. Which, wow, shockingly, background characters, you know, they're not always generic. <laughs> So that's a really nice quality. I have to give them that. Uh, and then, of course, you also get the the holder that fits right into the back. And you can, of course, place the sword or the battering. Well, we'll call that a, a, a Negan baseball bat <laughs> just for the sake of it. But anyways, I'm loving what I'm seeing so far with these figures. These are fantastic. They're such a retro throwback. It's I'm having a blast right now. This is this is so much fun taking a look. <laughs> Now, as far as articulation goes, uh, they do boast 17 points of articulation, which is excellent, especially for a you know a four-inch figure. And it you know it the the joints are really nicely you know hidden. I mean, you kind of you can kind of see it there, but on the end end, you're really you're really having to look for uh, the joint marks. I feel like, and you know especially in the hands and such. I just uh, the plastic really goes and holds it well it, it meshes you know into the full design of the figure but let's see so you have a full you know ball rotation on the head you have you know 360 on the elbows I like how those go around you don't have a bicep swivel but and you don't have a double jointed elbow but again these are four inch figures and I think you get the right amount of articulation and movement out of these things the hands do swivel and they rotate he has a ab crunch it goes in about that and it goes not too far back but that's okay again why <laughs> i don't know what the with the ab crunch and the you know the back articulation moving but it's just not something i look forward to uh, with figures but uh he has um nice leg out like that leg back dang that's some you know that's a full that's some great articulation there he has Double jointed knees. Check that out. That's that's pretty friggin' rad. And he also has uh, ball jointed feet. So move him down. And doesn't quite ankle rock, but it does move up and down. And the cool part about this is that these are articulated, so that if you want to move the foot up higher or down, it moves with it. And again, you know, it just gives a more realistic and hidden uh, hidden joint approach to these figures now let's pop out the head so what I was talking about earlier so you you know simple pop the head right off ball comes out this is more of a of a hollow thing so you don't have the actual ball in the in the actual neck it's part of the head and all you do line it up and these snap right in and I gotta say that is so much easier and less scary <laughs> When changing the heads because it's a real, I mean, at least for me, it's a real thing. When you're going to swap the heads, like, say, on a Marvel Legends or a Star Wars figure, Star Wars Black Series, you never know if you're going to break, you know, the head off right at the uh, at the neck joint. You know, sometimes they'll snap up really fast or they'll go the wrong way and you're kind of forced to, you know, kind of mesh it in there a little bit. But these work perfectly and on this figure it's the same kind of articulation it's kind of like a standard buck 17 points you know the head everything not anything too different uh it's you know pretty much the same so 
ah man these these figures are rad i gotta say i gotta give it to them these are pretty pretty cool i'm a huge fan right now and real quick uh how do they hold their weapons is it good it's actually pretty fantastic as you can see the tiger dude he you know you can you can make it so that you can hold him in a in a broadsword position his, you know, he grips the, the handles and everything well. The hands and, art, you know, just the arms articulate well. It's a very fluid motion. It looks fantastic. Same thing with the Monkey Man, you know, grips all his weapons quite well. You can put him into just a number of poses. It looks amazing. Look at <laughs> This is so cool. God, this is like taking me back like retro style, man. This is, this is a trip. I'm digging these figures these are fantastic and if you were wondering how these stack up with other three and three quarter slash four inch figures as you can see we have ponda baba from the uh star wars the black series the three and three quarter inch collection and he fits in perfectly it's scale wise you know they're pretty much the same it, it, they might clock in at a smidge or a hair just a bit bigger but Dang, those, those fit in great, which also means that they're going to fit in great with your G.I. Joe figures and the other, other, you know, old fashioned three and three quarter inch, you know, figures, especially hacks or even the Marvel Universe. You know what I mean? If you wanted to use these with those and just the articulation is on par. Everything is just fantastic with these figures. I'm so digging these. I really hope that this turns into something that I can go in the toy aisle and, and find because this just to me promotes a lot of creativity in kids it's almost like the old he-man uh cartoon in a sense where you have oh you got the good guys and you got the bad guys here's the main characters here's the good guy's name this is where they live this is the scenario now go and play and create your own story you can watch the cartoons on saturdays of course that'll give you a little bit more interaction gives you a little bit more you know, info as to the characters, uh, personality traits and things that have happened to them and everything, but it still gives you that level of creativity and play that I think a lot of toys, a lot of lines are kind of neglecting these days. And I think kids are worse for wear for them. They need a little bit of exploratory, you know, creativity. They need to come up with scenarios. It just, it strengthens again, creativity in the community. And I, I really hope that this line just explodes and becomes everything that it should be because these are just fantastic so now you've seen the review you see all my likes now what do i dislike to be quite honest with you i'm not really disliking anything about these if i had to nitpick them maybe a little bit more you know elbow articulation like double jointed elbows but to me articulation is not you know just uh, an absolute thing you don't need crazy articulation if the figures are this good and they do everything that you really want them to do i mean i got them in the poses that i want to do the fact that he can hold the you know the sword in, in two hands he grips them you know high and low that's you know that's great i really can't think of anything too outlandish or crazy that i would like to see in these things i mean maybe a little bit more you know you can do a, a, a wash on the paint to, to bring out some more of the armor the details and stuff like that but again, that's just straight nitpicking. These are figures that, you know, have a lot of design, a lot of love in them, and it really shows. And for me to say, oh, I want to see this, I want to see this, maybe down the line, yeah, sure, change it up, do something different. But for right now, man, these these things are killer. I I want I hope these things sell. I hope other companies see them and say, dang, like these are the dudes that we should be making figures with, because in all honesty, these things rock. And real quick before we end this, we're gonna try <laughs> the stand test once again and i uh, nope no go on this guy and no no go on that guy but that is a-okay i will find stands they don't need stands i'm just saying i you know i've gotten into the whole like stand thing because it's crazy to me how many action figures don't actually have uh poles on the bottom of the feet to stand them if you if you really needed a stand so go figure but as you can see these dudes stand pretty well on their own. They're not really going anywhere. And unless you knock over your case, I don't see them falling anytime soon.
And Spiro Toys was nice enough to send over a very special code to use. If you go to their website and you'd like to pre-order any of these figures for Animal Warriors of the Kingdom, simply go to SpiroToys.com. And upon checkout, go ahead and type in Toyshiz10 or Toyshiz10. And that will give you 10% off your order of $50 or more. So very cool, right? A little little win-win situation. Can't beat that. Anyways, head over to uh, SpiroToys.com. Give all the figures a quick look and see if, uh, if any of them catch your eye. I'm sure a couple of them will. And you know what? Go ahead and use the uh, 10% off coupon. I'm sure they'd really appreciate it. So thank you in advance. And right before we go, one more comparison as far as height-wise. We have the standard 6-inch Marvel Legends figure amidst the 4-inch Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. And just <laughs> just as a simple joke, uh, I mean, look at all the accessories you get with these figures. And then you have a $20 figure, which comes with zero accessories. I think he came with a leg of Thanos, but again, that doesn't count. That's not an accessory. I want webbing. Come on, people. Anyways... Thank you guys very much for uh, checking my review out. I hope that this gives you a little bit more inside, you know, in inclination to these awesome toys. Uh, Spiro Studios, thank you again for letting me check these out early. I'm so happy that I have these in hand to play with and show them off. Uh, the fact that you guys got your Kickstarter funded, you, I mean, you reached like, what, $76,000, so... People believe in these things. I believe in these things. I know that your figures are just coming out now, so I know a lot of backers are going to be getting them. But dang, you guys have nailed it. I wish you just the absolute best with these things and just continuous success. So thank you very much again. If you guys like this review, please hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe and hit the ringing bell just so you know whenever I post more videos like this. And if you are on Twitter or Instagram, please give me a follow at Toyshiz. I will talk to you guys later. I want you to have a great week. Adios.